We're here at the Trellix Cybersecurity Summit with Aparna Rayasam, Chief Product Officer at Trellix. Aparna, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. So I'd like to start with, um, talk a little bit about the steps that Trellix is taking to move beyond uh, EDR or endpoint detection and response towards a more holistic approach with extended detection and response or XDR and, and how that's taking shape for federal agencies. So great question. Uh, traditionally or historically, I guess, EDRs were the way to look at enterprise security because the perspective was the endpoint and um, all around the endpoint. But then increasingly, as you see the number of attacks that are being missed, these attacks are specifically in areas where they're probably not strong enough to trigger the detections in those areas. So they are in some ways flying just under the radar for those detections and by themselves they're weak signals. But then in aggregate, when you pull them together across these multiple vectors, they are a strong signal. So that's where an XDR or the extended detect and respond will catch these because it, it, it looks at multiple vectors puts them together, aggregates them, collects that data, aggregates them, and then contextualizes those the, these weak signals into a strong outcome for, for our customers. And specifically in the federal sector, to your question, I think there is the, the prevalence of the attack vectors and the, uh, I'd say the insidiousness of the attack vectors is tremendous. So it's much more important to go down to the network, to go down to email, to look at what's happening in their environment, be it cloud or be it their private cloud, et cetera, collect all of this aggregate information, go back to their data. How is their data being protected and how is their data being exfiltrated in, in, uh, in those cases? And, and together draw out that comprehensive solution for a holistic outcome. Well, next, I'd like to explore a little bit about the prevalence of machine learning and AI um, at Trellix. I know that's been part of what your organization has been working on for many years. Where, what's the state of that now and where is it going for the federal customers that you're serving? So great question. Uh, we deal with a ton of data. With, between the billion sensors and 40,000 customers, we see a ton of data. So it's important for us to organize the data well and learn from that data because that's really where the, um, the secret sauce is. So data science is in, in many ways an underpinning of everything that we do. So every product relies on um, strong data science and machine learning models. And um, the XDR concept and the product that I was just outlining relies on this, relies on this very heavily as well. Now, with regards to your question about where this is going, I see a lot of this going towards predictability. So, in other words, understanding again the nascent behaviors and, and drawing based on, you know, based on the conclusions and then pulling back feedback based on what we have discovered. So, in other words, you know, look at, looking at our models, looking at the efficacy of our models. And um, if, for example, if we have false positives, what are the customers doing with those false positives? So learning not just from the data, learning from the detections and their adoption themselves. So then you get a very strong self-aware adapting set of machine learning and data models. And that's where I see a lot of innovation going. Really interesting. Well, uh, Aparna Rayasam, thank you so much for sharing some of your insights here at the Trellix Cybersecurity Summit. And thank you for having me.